I had an idea about doing color artwork for all the Baseball Hall of Famers. That was really the beginning of an idea that we all started to percolate. And within two weeks, Dick came in with five pieces that he had done of Babe Ruth in the style of the Allen and Ginter card. The Hall of Fame had never issued a set of art cards. We perceived a vacuum in the collecting world as a result of that. We thought that we could make a marriage, so to speak, between Dick's talents on one hand and the collector's needs on the other hand. And as a result of that, we formed a company in late 1979 called Perez Steel Galleries. Frank was a Wall Street guy. He was always very well dressed. Frank was self-consciously a dandy. And this permeated his being. When he wanted to see you later, he would say, I will see you anon. There was nobody in the world like him. He had a connection to the Baseball Hall of Fame. We wanted the Hall of Fame logo on these cards and we would pay them a royalty. That was new to the Hall because they had not had any royalty income at that point. They liked the idea and Peristial Art Postcards was born. Oh my God, was that an exciting time. <laughs>